Hello. Welcome to my video. Before starting, keep a notebook and pen beside you so that you can make notes, solve problems with me and also note down if you have any doubt. Okay, hope you are ready now. Let's start. Today's topic is simplification of grammar. Grammar here refers to context free grammar that is CFG. Simplification of grammar has three important steps removal of useless production, removal of unit production, removal of null production. Whenever we say the grammar is simplified, it means it is free from useless production, free from unit production and it is free from null production. Let's see one by one in detail. So now coming to the first one, removal of unit production. What do you mean by unit production? The production of the form X produces A is known as unit production. That is single variable at the right hand side i repeat only one variable at the right hand side so few examples are s produces a x produces d and so on so now here are three examples pause the video and write down your answer whether this is unit production so what do you see are they unit production no, they are not. S produces AS. You have a terminal and a variable. So we have a terminal with the variable. So it is not unit production. X produces A? No, there is no variable at all at the right hand side. S produces XA. Again, there is a terminal with the variable. I repeat again, unit production means a single variable at the right hand side. So these are not unit production. So I hope it is clear. Now let's solve an example and see how to remove the unit production. The production is as given. So how many productions we have in this grammar? Pause the video and write down. So we have seven productions in all. So which are unit productions in this? Y produces Z, Z produces M, M produces N are unit production. So how to remove this now? Now what we'll do? M produces N. What N produces? N produces A. So we'll substitute the production of N in M. We'll substitute the value of N in M. So what we get? M produces A. Similarly, the same thing we'll do with Z. Z produces M and M produces A. So what does Z produce? Z produce A. So similarly Y produce Z and Z produce A. So Y produces A. So our final grammar after removal of unit production looks like this. I hope this is clear. So solve this now. Remove unit production from the given grammar. Pause the video and solve it and then come back. So in this example unit productions are S produces A and S produces B. As we have done in our previous example we will do the same. In place of A we will put production of A. In place of B we put production of B. So substituting the production of A and B we get this answer. So what will be our final answer? S produces AA or BB or AAA or A or B. Since S produces BB is repeating, we'll consider it only once. I hope removal of unit production is clear. So solve this. Take a pause, solve this and come back. Your final answer will be this. Here if you see A produces A is a unit production. Since it is 
self loop that is it is producing itself we just ignore it and in place of b produces c we put the value of c that is production of c in place of c in b so our final answer would be as shown so next we'll move on to the removal of useless production what do you mean by useless production the production that can never take part in the derivation of any string are called useless productions similarly a variable that can never take part in derivation of any string is called a useless variable so it will be more clear if you look at the example so here we have an example we have seven productions again six productions again okay so here which are our useless productions c produces dc is useless why because c is never used in our previous any of the production s is our start variable s is using s a and b productions so c is useless s is not using c and neither a neither b is using c so c is not used by any of the variable so c is useless next is c useless now pause the video and note down the answer no because c is used in b production so c is not useless coming back to our previous example b is also useless why b is used in s then why b is useless b is useless because it is not creating any terminal directly or indirectly so b is useless is b useless now no b is not useless because it is producing terminal directly is b useless now no b is not useless now because it is producing terminal indirectly what do you mean by indirectly see here b is producing c and c is producing the terminal hence b is producing the terminal so b is not useless so final cfj after removal of useless production would be since b is useless the production which has b also should be removed hence s doesn't have now the production of b s doesn't have the production of b we have to remove b so final answer after removal of useless production is only s and a i hope removal of useless production is clear so take another example solve this take a pause write down the answer and come back the solution is as shown next we'll move on to removal of null production what do you mean by null production the production of the type a produces epsilon is known as null production or it is also sometimes called as epsilon production so we'll take a simple example solve it s produces asa bsb or epsilon so here if you see s is producing epsilon now we have to remove this how to remove this wherever we have this s put epsilon and get the value c 
see here A S A put epsilon here B S B put epsilon here and remember to add those to the existing production and then remove epsilon so our answer would be ASA PSB as it is before and we have added AA or BB to the production so this CFG is now free from epsilon production so another example S produces ASA or BAB A produces AA or epsilon now here A is producing epsilon right so wherever we have A we put epsilon there we have A here we have A here so epsilon and epsilon I repeat again keep the production as it is and add more productions with epsilon so our final answer would be S produces A S A B A A B the previous production and the new production with epsilon is BB similarly in A A A the previous production and then add a production which is the result of epsilon I hope removal of epsilon is clear so take down another example take a pause solve this problem and come back so this is the solution for that answer if you see in this example A is also producing epsilon B is also producing epsilon so epsilon should be put in all the productions wherever possible in all the possible ways see in this example A S B A is also producing epsilon and B is also producing epsilon so I can take A produces epsilon and put here and keep S B as it is take B produces epsilon put here and keep this as it is so it becomes A S S B I hope this is clear and I can also put two epsilons together epsilon s epsilon which is s produces s which is negligible since it is producing itself so our final solution would be as shown on the screen so this is removal of epsilon production hope simplification of grammar is clear from this video thank you